Greetings, primitive Earth humans. Yes, I'm back. Back from planet Plurzia. Uh, we aliens have a tendency to want to get the hell away from this crazy planet during the uh, end of the year, you know, human religious ritual observances, which are quite strange to us and confusing. <laughs> but I'm back, yes. Should be back to daily uploads now. Had a nice long vacation on planet Plurzia. I uh, ate a lot of space worms, which were quite delicious. And <laughs> got some new games. Yes, 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 yes. You can uh, click the link to my Steam account to uh, check out all the new games I got. I got a whole bunch of things. Got uh, um, real good deals on a lot of games, uh, especially I, I got the uh, Valve Complete Pack, which has pretty much all of the Valve games, uh, except for Left 4 Dead 3, I think. But uh, yes, and uh, one of the games I got is right here, Kerbal Space Program. Of course. An alien must play a space game like this. Even though I'm, uh, must admit I'm not terribly, terribly good at this game. You know, primitive uh, space travel technology and all that. <laughs> We're far beyond the need of, of rockets and manual control and things like that. And our spaceships are pretty much just sit in a chair. Think where you want to go and you go there. <laughs> oh, the primitive Earth beings and the primitive Kerbal beings. But they are fun to torture and do horrible things to. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Yes, you will be probed in your bung. So, we shall start a new game. This is version 1.0.5. Uh, so, probably a good time for me to have purchased the game since they've added a whole bunch of new stuff. I've, I've got a couple of uh, saves I've just been the last couple of weeks on my primitive home on laptop. I've been playing career mode and trying to get used to playing the game. I've got a little uh, test uh, sandbox sandbox version, which I'm just kind of thinking around. But I believe we are going to do in this series where I'm going to be doing career mode. We'll see how far we can get in that. So we shall start a new game. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, and we just shall call this. YouTube career mode. On. Career mode, yes it is. In career mode, you have to manage all aspects of your space program. Funds, reputation, and science are all active. And contracts are available. Ah, uh, thing they have added, contracts. Now you can accept contracts. And uh, earn money in science. To fund your space program. And increase your technology. And so forth. I have added, of course, my own custom flag. The uh, Cosmic Alien Overlord. Flag, which is who we shall represent in this primitive, pathetic space program. Then we will choose just normal difficulty, and we shall start. Haha, <laughs> let us torture some stupid little green creatures. Yes, 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 uh, welcome to the Space Center. I am Jane Kerman. Everybody's last name is Kerman here. Flight Director, okay. This is the Space Center, blah, 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 blah. You can pause and read this crap if you want. I have, I have no use, really, for learning things. Or doing anything right. <laughs> but I already know a few things here. Here is our science uh, research and in, in whatever the hell it is here. We unlock these things by spending science. So you see the little blue uh, asterisk 5. It will cost 5 science to unlock this. And as you progress through the tech trees here, you unlock new shit for building rockets and stuff. So that, of course, is the goal to unlock uh, newer and better parts, and these little building areas will also sort of fill out as we go. So, but I think, uh, here's the thing over here, you can go to the administration building, and you can enable one of these uh, uh, strategies here, uh, fundraising campaign. Of course, we can't afford it right now, we have no money. But uh, this is a thing I'm not really all that interested in uh, doing any of these strategies at the moment. Uh, they all have their benefits and drawbacks, mostly drawbacks. Of course, right here we have the vehicle assembly building. Over here we have our tracking station. Uh, down in the bottom left-hand corner will tell you when you hover what these do. Research and development. Here's our astronaut complex. And here's the space plane hangar. We can take, take a look at the astronaut complex. So we can hire all these Kerbals here if we want, but right now we've got four Kerbals 
Here we've got uh, two pilots, uh, Valentina Kerman and uh, Jebediah Kerman. And we've got uh, Bill Kerman, an engineer, and Bob Kerman, the scientist. And, you know, that will become important later as, as scientists can do things that uh, the others cannot do. Um, you know, like uh, reset, uh, use once experiments and things like that. We'll see how that works a little bit later. But uh, uh, right now we've got our four purples here. And I love how they only have two statistics, courage and stupidity. <laughs> Which really is the only uh, statistics uh, I believe that any primitive being needs. Uh, they need plenty of both, plenty of courage, and plenty of stupidity. When you have high degrees of both, much fun ensues. So, I think the first thing we're going to do is go to the... Yes, uh, uh, what the hell is this? This is the mission control. And this is the new thing added to the game now. We've got uh, all kinds of uh, contracts offered to you. that you can make money, gather science data from Kerbin. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, launch our, our launch our first vessel, uh, escape the atmosphere and orbit Kerbin. Uh, we'll do those maybe a little bit later. And right now, we've got a maximum of two contracts that we can accept for the earning of money and stuffs and science and things. So I think gather scientific data from Kerbin. Uh, that should be pretty easy. We could do that right from the ground. Discover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Ha ha ha, and it will pay us uh, 4,110 purple credits in advance, uh, that's 7,600 roughly on completion. And uh, launch, all we've got to do is uh, launch something. That should be pretty easy, we just got to you know, get off the ground. Uh, so we'll just do like a little test launch there, that's another, you know, about uh, uh, 5,000 credits there. We can only accept two, so we will accept these first two. All right here, and we can click on active and see that these are our active uh, contracts at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right here we have uh, accepted uh, year one, day, blah, 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 blah. Some of these will have a time limit. Um, like, for instance, uh, these two here. Uh, these will expire in three days, five hours, blah, blah, blah. A lot of a uh, lot of these uh, contracts. Once you accept them, you sometimes have a number of years to complete them, so you don't have to complete them right away. But uh, so we've got two contracts here, and we want to unlock some science so we can start progressing through that tech tree. So okay, yes, uh, Werner von Kremen. Ha ha ha! You can read this crap if you want. I have no need of the reading. We don't have a lot of parts. To begin with here, we've just got one little, little, uh, solid field booster. The flea, it's teeny tiny. We've got, uh, very little of anything. Um, we've got, uh, single parachute, and we, but we do have a couple of science things, uh, uh, computer flight unit, that's from the MechJap mod. Uh, of course, I have a whole bunch of mods in this thing, too. Purple engineering system, uh, most impressive, 128 bits of solid state storage and enough processing power to run at least three digital watches. <laughs> oh yes, of course. I've also got a robotics mod in here, and uh, yeah, a bunch of mods. I will list those in the description down below. But to start with, you have to have some kind of command module to even start building your spaceship. Put that sucker there. That will hold a single curb kerbal. We've got Jebediah as our pilot, that shall work well enough for us, and let's see, we want to uh, add a fuel, or add a booster on there, we want to uh, get this off the ground, and it won't go very far, we want to not kill our Kerbal, unfortunately it's much more fun to kill the Kerbals, but, uh, so we will put this uh, only parachute that we have available right now on there, so we can shoot this sucker up in the air, and uh, when we get down uh, close to the ground, we'll fire off our parachute and hopefully retrieve this entire craft. But now we also would like to do some science. And so I think what we're going to do is add a couple of these mystery goo pods. You expose the mystery goo, and it reacts in different ways. And goo is a thing I find to be many splendid. Uh, we could hit the uh, C key, we'll toggle the snapping on, 
And down here in this uh, um, bottom left hand corner, we've got a couple things here. We could look at our center of mass, we could look at our center of thrust, we could look at our. Uh, I think that's it. Hold on. Center of uh, lift? Probably, yes. We don't have any real aerodynamics on this right now. No need of, of such things, but we can toggle symmetry mode. Now we have two-way symmetry. And we'll get one of these pods on either side. Um, you can hit the X button also to toggle through symmetry. We can, we can put four of these suckers on there if we want. You uh, right-click to reduce it back down. I think for now we're going to put two goo pods on there. I think uh, we're back to single symmetry mode. I'm going to put one more on. Here, that's going to make this thing unbalanced. But uh, hey, that, that's okay. Um, and uh, from what I remember, let's see, we'll toggle our snapping back on. I get that right in the center. It's a uh, it takes about three of these goo containers to do uh, the full science in any specific zone. So we will call this... It's not going to go very far. We'll call it Pipsqueak 1. If I can spell it correctly. <laughs> and this, uh, this window here, this is the Kerbal Engineer mod. And what this will do is uh, this will tell us important things. Delta V, tell us how much Delta V our rocket has, our thrust to weight ratio. Um, ISP is uh, more, I think, a function of how efficient your your engine is. Uh, uh, tells us our mass, our cost, blah, 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 blah. The most important things we're going to find in this uh, game is going to be things like thrust to weight ratio, but Delta V is really what it's all about, and that's basically... Uh, telling us, uh, let's see, yep, yep, click there. That is telling us, uh, we've got 714 meters per second worth of delta V. That's basically telling us that's the, the total amount of acceleration you know, we can get out of this thing. Uh, and we've got 8.8 .8 seconds of burn. Uh, when it comes to delta V, it, it it's not so much, you know, how fast you can go, it's how much total acceleration over over time you can get. So, for instance, uh, to uh, to get into orbit, I believe it takes something like uh, uh, about 4,500 uh, delta V to reach orbit. Um, but uh, yeah, that will become important uh, later down the road as we're uh, engaged in doing specific things but suffice it to say, like to get to the moon and back, you will need a certain minimum requirement of delta V to get a rocket, I say, to the moon and back, or wherever it is you want to go. So, but anyway, let's do the simple stuff, and we'll just go to the launch pad here. And science. We earn upgrades by doing science. So, first thing we're going to do, and oh, another mod I have here. This is a thing that's going to let you... Save stuff. Uh, you, you can go check out the mods individually. This is a nice uh, enhanced nav ball settings. Let's see. Move this nav ball around. Normally be in the middle of the screen. I, I kind of like to stick it over here, sort of out of the way, and change the scale. All that good stuff. So, but anyway, right now we're not going to launch. We're not going to do anything more than run a few experiments. So, we will click on the mystery goo and expose it to the environment. Goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now, but we've got some science. We've got a plus three science. And we don't have a transmitter yet on this craft. Uh, we can see if we transmit the science, we're only gonna get 30% of its value. Which isn't much, but we're gonna retrieve this craft. So we shall keep that data. And let's expose another one. And we've got a little more, another uh, percent of the data. We'll do another one. I think I think something like you have to do it three times in order to satisfy all of the science we can do in this spot. And each biome um, lets you do uh, more science and things like that. So right now, actually, the launch pad is actually considered a biome in this game. 
just like all of these other ones, uh, you know, all these different sections with the buildings are different biomes. Even the runway over here is considered a biome. We've got grasslands, mountains, we've got a, a beach biome, we've got an ocean biome. Biome biomes everywhere. Some other science we can do, we can right click on the capsule. We can do a crew report. And you record the crew's assessment of the situation. That gives us uh, another 1.5 science, not a whole hell of a lot. We could also do an EVA. Now we can come down here and click on Jebediah if we want. We can do an IVA. We can look around inside the uh, cockpit here. Not, not a whole hell of a lot to see. You can see my knee. <laughs> you can see the uh, very primitive control system we have here. We hit V to get back out of there. And so what we can do here, we can also just click on the capsule. And click on the door. There we go. And click EVA. And our Kerbal map will hop out there. And we can right click on him and do an EVA report. And technically, he is flying over Kerbin at, at the moment, uh, even though he is not uh, in the air. But since his Beats are off the ground, these considered flying, so that gives us 5.6 science there. Now one thing we can do too, we can uh, store the science in the capsule while we're outside, and then we just hit B to board the capsule again. So, we can come over here to our contract, so on that Chatter too is a really great mod called Chatter, adds little carbon, herbal voices. So let's see. Gather science. This will not show as uh, completed until we've actually recovered this vehicle. Um, and we can launch our first vessel. This should be pretty easy. Now you can right click on any of these components here. Um, we don't have to really go very high, so we can probably... Uh, oh, I suppose I had to do this back at the uh, um, vehicle assembly bay. But you can uh, right click on a thing like this and we could have reduced the amount of fuel so we don't really have to go very high but you know, right now why don't we go ahead and just recover the vessel with the science that we have and we have completed this gather science data and what do we get we got 11 science rootastical and friggy diggy and all that stuff uh, we've got uh, our crew report We've got three mystery goo, and we can see the first one gives us three science, and the next two just gives us a very small amount of science. Um, but I think that will satisfy the full requirements for the mystery goo at this specific location here. Let's click next. And we got 45,000 Kerbal monies from doing all that stuff, because we pretty much recovered all of our stuff. Uh, you get money back for the parts that you do recover. And Jebediah Karma... Kerman uh, gained 1 XP, and we gained uh, 5 reputation. So, friggily ding dong do. Uh, oh, right now, uh, we don't have any new contracts available. Uh, escape the atmosphere. We don't really need to do that right now. So, I think what we're just going to do is we're going to go back to our little science center now. And we've got, let's see, these each cost 5. Uh, basic rocketry we definitely want. Engineering we want. That gives us a science junior. Um, oh, and you know, I probably should have just done the launch first. Because that would have unlocked the science junior. And we could have done even more science. Uh, a wrench? I don't know what that's useful. Uh, this is a guide for another mod. Um, Communotron. Which uh, lets us uh, transmit data and stuff back to the space center. And a stack decoupler. So yes, we want that stuff. Uh, basic rocketry. Uh, this gives us a uh, more powerful liquid fuel uh, engine here. And a slightly more powerful solid fuel booster. And a little bitty fuel tank for that. So sure, some liquid fuel we want. That leaves us two science, not enough. We're going to get to the next tier of the tech tree here. These are all going to cost uh, 18, yeah, 15, 15 or more science so we've got to do more science now so let's go back to our vehicle assembly bay and let's just take this goo canister off of there 
um, I think we've done all the goo experiments right now, like I say, that we can do out there on the launch pad. So, let's just knock this down to just, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of, of the fuel. We're not going to go very high, and we're just going to do our first launch. And uh, if we take a look real quick, we can see the things that we've unlocked here. We've got the uh, bigger solid fuel booster. We've got our little uh, LVT-30 Reliant liquid fuel engine. We've got a fuel tank. You can stack a bunch of these up, though. If you hold Alt, you can copy an object. If I hold Alt there, I can copy Alt, too. And that sort of stuff. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Uh, we've got our stack decoupler, which will separate things. And we've got a little bit more science. Um, we might as well, for the hell of it, Throw the Science Junior on there, and you know, actually, another thing too, let's go ahead and grab a couple of Mystery Goo containers and put them on there, because once we get off the ground, we can do more science, because uh, we haven't done any low orbit uh, science yet, so we might as well do that. I don't know how much of this is going to survive uh, landing back down, and uh, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and increase the amount of fuel here, or not too much. I don't, I don't know how, what this is going to do, but uh, we will call this Pip Squeak 2. And, okay. And I think, do do do, yes, why don't we just go ahead and, we'll go ahead and use Jebediah again. We could use our, our scientist, um, Jebediah is a pilot, so pilots can actually, uh, if we hit T here, we will turn on SAS, which is our stability control. Um, on probes that have built-in SAS, you can, you can use this to kind of control with the WASD keys. Um, you can do that if you have a pilot. However, I believe if I use an engineer or if I use a, uh, a scientist cannot do any piloting skills, so they cannot Take, uh, make any use of SAS. If you launch a scientist with one of these, it's usually best to wait till you unlock a probe and put a probe on top of this. Then the probe can do the piloting for you. But a uh, scientist can exit the vehicle. He can retrieve the data from these uh, experiments here, and he can reset them. Otherwise, uh, our pilot here, like for instance, we can observe the materials bay, and we're going to get some science for that. But uh, this is a one-time use thing, so we're getting 7.5 science, and now this material bay is used for this mission. It cannot be reused. So, um, we can reset it, but we lose the data, I think, if we do that. Mystery goo, we can check and see if there's any science to be got here. Uh, just the teeniest, tiniest little sliver. Probably not worth doing it. It doesn't even register as a science point, so we'll go ahead and reset that experiment. And we can reset the experiment when we use it once, but we, once we retrieve the data, uh, like I say, a pilot cannot reset the experiment. We could, uh, with a, a scientist, um, can actually retrieve the data. You would have to EVA him out of the capsule, um, get close to this, he can retrieve the data, and then he can reset it and run uh, the experiment again. So only scientists can reuse these, uh, otherwise these are run once experiments. So let's see, I think we'll just go ahead and uh, launch this little sucker, <laughs> see how far we can get. Let's make sure our staging is good, that's another very important thing with this game. That uh, you do, uh, let's see, for instance, let's uh, hit the escape and revert to the vehicle assembly bay. So that's a thing. That is very important. For instance, uh, let me show you real quick here. If we were to add a stack decoupler on here and add another little flea, boom, we can see over here in our staging now. If we click on this, uh, these stages are going to go from highest number down to lowest. So, and the space bar activates each stage. So if I'm out on there, uh, out there on the uh, launch pad and I hit the space, I'm going to launch this stage here will fire off. And then when it burns out, I hit the space bar again, it will activate this stack decoupler that will jettison this part. 
Uh, then I will hit space again to activate this second stage. And then uh, if I hit the space bar again, it will activate the parachute. So, uh, but I think uh, right now, uh, what we're going to do, um, you know, for instance, if I move this down here, this uh, stage would de decouple and fire at the same time and we'd probably get some kind of horrible explosion. <laughs> so you'd want to add a plus sign there to add a stage between that. And we would move this uh, jettison decoupler activation uh, stage to the second stage. So, yeah, the stages go in reverse order here. But, of course, we don't need this here. We just need this guy here. We'll check that there. Uh, we can also limit the thrust here. I think we'll go ahead and give it full thrust. We just, uh, there, actually, you know what? I think we'll just do full fuel, full thrust, because this isn't going to go very far at all. And we'll just call that good. We can, uh, save pit, pit squeak too. And we'll launch this little green bastard into, <laughs> into the lower atmosphere. So, okay, our staging's all good. We'll go ahead and hit it. And while we're up here, let's observe our materials bay. Yes. We'll observe the mystery goo. Yes, we'll keep that. Observe this mystery goo. And we'll keep that as well. We'll also do a EV, or a, let's see, a crew report while we're here. Can we do an EVA? Oh, he does not yet have the skills to do an EVA. So, now another thing that's very important, when we look at our speed down here, we want to make sure we don't destroy this parachute. So, uh, if we're going faster than, uh, say 20, uh, I think 250 uh, meters per second, that parachute will get destroyed. So, let's go ahead and deploy that sucker right now. They generally don't open till somewhere like, you know, a thousand feet. This is our altitude here. So we'll see. Hopefully, we won't pick up too much speed by the time this thing opens. As right now we see it's it's yellow. <laughs> that means we could have problems. Here we are. I, I think it slowed us down just being deployed. It will slow us down enough to keep us below 250. And then there we go. We have opened it up. We need to be under about 6 meters per second for it not to destroy the living bejesus out of stuff here. Uh, looks like our solid fuel booster might explode once we hit the ground. <laughs> hopefully it will not. And hopefully it will If it explodes, that's fine. As long as it does not explode our science experiment here. We would very much like to keep that. And yes, it exploded our booster, but that's okay, our science survived. Now let's see, I, I don't know if we're in a different biome right now. Can we do a crew report? Yes, we can. We're over the Kerbin Shores, as we can see here. This is considered the shores. And we can do a little bit more science here. We can pop a Jeb out and do an EVA. And we'll do an EVA report. And uh, apparently we can't do that, we've already done it, so let's just uh, to, to take the data, store the data, and uh, let's go ahead and pop him off of there and let him <laughs> fall on his ass, because it's funny. <laughs> and we can do another EVA report from the ground here, which is another thing I suppose we could have done back on the launch pad, um, and we'll go ahead and keep that science there. I don't think we're going to be able to get him back if we jump hard enough. Oh, there we go. Oh. We can maybe get him to jump high enough to, to grab back on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, but if not, no problem. We'll go ahead and recover the vessel. We're actually only recovering our Kerbal. Because he is now the current vessel. He's got 16 signs on him. We will take that. Groovy groovy. And right now we can see Pipsqueak 2 is sitting out here. We'll go ahead and recover that as well. That had 46 signs on it. Sweet. And we made 
111,000 of the monies. Okay, let's go back to here and oh, look at all the stuff. See, we've got a little reputation now. So we've unlocked all kinds of available uh, uh, contracts from, from different Kerbal companies and things like that. So I think we'll get into that probably in the next episode, however. And, uh, but right now we've got uh, 46 signs to spend. Yeah, let's see. We can pick probably two of these here. Uh, <laughs> survivability. More parachutes. We've got a service bay. We've got a heat shield. And I don't know if we're going to need that just yet. We've got some aerodynamics. Rail decoupler. Uh, that's a thing that will let us add some solid boosters on and just jettison those suckers away. Aerodynamics will uh, possibly also be a useful thing. Got a T FLT 200 fuel tank. Got a big ass uh, solid fuel booster and the LV T45 swivel liquid fuel engine that has vectoring, thrust vectoring in it. So I think what we're going to do <laughs> and this is a much better winglet. I think uh, for right now we're going to go with. Uh, let's see what we got here. Got some landing struts and uh, a better parachute. I think sure we'll go with. Uh, possibly we'll go with this general rocketry. We will unlock that. Mm -hmm. Stability or parachutes. I think perhaps we'd go with the parachuting right now. And we only need a little bit more science, so... Yes, we can do a little bit of science by just making a, something here. And we'll go to a different biome. Let's get to our science stuff here. Put that guy on there. We will put... Uh, one of those guys there, we will put a couple more on there, and uh, sure, let's put a couple more on there, <laughs> for the hell of it. We're going to send our scientist guy out there, which is Bob Kerman, and we're going to put him in here. He's not going to go anywhere, he's just going to sit in this damn thing and do a little bit of science. Um, let's put a little communitron on there. A couple, I'm sure. What the hell? And let's see what other kind of stuff we got that we can do here. We don't have any battery packs, I don't think, at the moment. But uh, that's a whole lot of science we can do right now to unlock the next thing. So, okay. Science Pod 1. <laughs> Is what we'll call that. Sure, and we'll save that little bastard. And head out on to the runway. Okay, so we're just sitting here on this shitty little runway, and, and we're not gonna go anywhere. Again, you know, we're just gonna do some some damn science. Let's uh, observe the mystery goo. Yes, we'll keep that science. We'll uh, observe another mystery goo. We will keep that science, and we'll observe yet a, another goo of mystery, and also keep that science. Is there any more? I'm sure. Let's do all five of them. I don't know how many of them are gonna count over here, but why not? We will also do a crew report. And we got 1.5 science from that. Let's observe the materials bay. We get 7.5 science out of that. And sure. Already we got a whole bunch. Bunches of science. Let's get Bob's little curble butt out of there. And do an EVA report. Um, we're still over the shore, so there's nothing really interesting. Here, so I think this is about to. Uh, oh, he's gonna. He's not gonna get anything from the ground either. But uh, just showing you what a scientist can do now. You can come back here, collect this data, remove the data from the science junior, and now he can restore the science junior, so it can run another experiment. So let's observe it one more time. See if there's any more science to get out of that. Sure, there is a little bit. And he collect the data, remove the data, restore it again. Let him store those experiments in the pod. And we'll observe the 
Materials Bay one more time and sure we get a little bit more science. Um, I don't think he can carry any more data than that. So for instance if we board him we will have to dump some of this uh, um, experiments that we have. So we're going to just pop him off of there. Send him down to the ground. And can he do an EVA report from here? Yes, he can. He's on the runway, which is a completely different biome now. So we'll keep that data. We'll go ahead and recover him. I probably forget a couple of things here. I can probably get more science in this, but that's 21 science just from Bob right there. We've got 18 reputation for that. And we're going to go ahead and retrieve our science pod. We've got another 21, 29 science from that. Sweet. So, science falling out of our bunghole right now. we got 29 science. Let's get this stability stuff. So, we've got the first three tiers sort of unlocked here. We've got 11 science. We're going to need like 45 science to unlock any of these uh, tier 4 things. So, I think that's going to be good for today. We shall save the game. ba -ching! And call it good for this episode. Um, let's see, we've got uh, 111,000. So, sure, yeah, we'll call it good for this episode if you enjoyed this video. Please do remember to rate, comment, share, subscribe, and always obey your alien overlords. Or you will be probed in your green little curbin butt cheeks. <laughs> well, once again, this is Alien Pet 13. Signing off. Probably later.